It's December 4th, 2017, and here's what's happening in games. Mega Man makes his grand 30th anniversary return. Life is Strange gets its original voice actors back. And I'll make five predictions for announcements made at the Game Awards. The video game industry changes every day, and your time is important. Let's get you caught up, starting right now on Games in Time. Hello and welcome to Games in Time, the video game quick hits podcast that gets you all caught up on what's happening in the game industry. My name is Peter Spasia, and it's my job to deliver your news in expedited fashion. So let's get right into it. Mega Man is back. To celebrate the series' 30th anniversary on December 17th, Capcom hosted a live stream today to celebrate the Mega Man series in a surprisingly big way. The biggest news from the event comes in the form of the announcement of Mega Man 11. The game uses a 2.5D art style that is rather reminiscent of Mighty No. 9, Mega Man is no longer a silent protagonist, and the game will be coming out late 2018 on PS4, Xbox One, PC, and Nintendo Switch. Make sure to watch the replay of the Twitch stream on Capcom Unity for insights into the game's art direction and character design from Mega Man 11's development team. Of particular note is that concept art for Mega Man 11 was actually buried in the art gallery of Mega Man Legacy Collection 2. Secondly, Capcom also confirmed that all eight Mega Man X titles will be coming to all current generation platforms in 2018. While this phrasing was vague, it is expected that this will be a collection, much like the two Legacy Collections that have already been released. And finally, those two Legacy Collections will be coming to Nintendo Switch in 2018. The two ports will have Amiibo support, and the release timing is expected to give players the opportunity to play through Mega Man 1-10 through 10 on Switch in anticipation of 11. The biggest takeaways from the event seem to be not only is Mega Man back as a Capcom franchise that the publisher deems to be worthy, but also that the significant sales success of Nintendo Switch can no longer be ignored. This indication from Capcom may be just the tip of the iceberg, especially when it comes to Japanese publishers. We will have to follow what happens during this week's Game Awards, as well as a rumored Nintendo Direct in January 2018, to see if this trend continues. Life is Strange Before the Storm Episode 3 has been announced to be coming soon, according to the game's official Twitter account. This conclusion to the prequel of the critically acclaimed 2015 adventure game will feature fan-favorite character Chloe Price and the events that will rock her relationship with newly found friend Rachel Amber. This follows up on this weekend's news that Farewell, the epilogue to Life is Strange Before the Storm, will feature the return of Hannah Tell and Ashley Birch, voicing Max Caulfield and Chloe Price respectively. While Birch has been on the writing team for Before the Storm, the video game voice actor strike on behalf of the Screen Actors Guild meant that she was not able to reprise her role as 16-year-old Chloe. Rihanna DeVries has done an admirable job as a stand-in, but it will be refreshing to hear Birch return to the role, especially after award-winning reception this year as Aloy in Horizon Zero Dawn. Young Max and Chloe's Farewell arrives in early 2018. It's a big week here in December for the game industry. On Thursday, Jeff Keighley hosts his production of The Game Awards, and PlayStation Experience starts on Friday, with panels going through the weekend. Let's save the award predictions and the PSX speculation for later in the week, though. I'd like to provide my top five predictions for what will be announced at The Game Awards, from least to most likely. Number five, Rocksteady will show their new title, and it will still be related to a DC Comics property. Number four, Crystal Dynamics shows either Shadow of the Tomb Raider or more details on the Avengers project. Number three, Hideo Kojima will announce a new celebrity's involvement in Death Stranding. Number two, The Devil May Cry 5 rumors are true, and Capcom shows a reveal trailer. And number one, Nintendo reveals a trailer at an exact date in December 2017 for the release of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild the Champion's Ballad. With the headlines out of the way, it's time to list the significant new games coming out today and tomorrow. Dead Rising 4, Frank's Big Package, comes to PlayStation 4 on Tuesday, December 5th. The game features the previously Xbox One and PC exclusive Dead Rising 4, along with all the game's DLC and a new mode called Capcom Heroes, which allows protagonist Frank West to wear over a dozen outfits and perform outrageous special attacks inspired by classic Capcom characters. 
Destiny 2 Curse of Osiris comes to PS4, Xbox One, and PC on Tuesday, December 5th. This is the game's first major expansion, and it features the first appearance of the former Vanguard commander and Ikora Ray's former teacher. And finally, Steep Road to the Olympics comes to PS4, Xbox One, and PC on Tuesday, December 5th. First revealed at E3 2017, this is the expansion to Ubisoft's Winter Sports title, and it has an official partnership with the 2018 PyeongChang South Korea Winter Olympic Games. Let's wrap things up with the mailbag segment. You can send in your questions to the show on social media at GamesInTimePod or at GamesInTimePodcast at gmail.com. You can either submit your question in text or record it, and I'll use the audio on the show. Jesse asks, with 2017 nearing a close, what would you say was your biggest surprise this year? Honestly, it's probably the overall level of success that the Nintendo Switch has had so far. I mean, I knew that it was the system for me, but the fact that Nintendo's company prospects have really turned around is remarkable. It was a launch that they had to get right, and nine months in, it's hard to argue that this isn't the best year one games lineup ever for a new console. Hopefully, the monthly software rollout plan can continue into 2018, as we should ideally see with a Direct at the start of the new year, not to mention the necessity of revealing online and virtual console plans. But yeah, as we see with Capcom's news today, publishers are starting to turn around on the fact that if the Switch can run it, it is worth it to put games on that platform. I'll be looking forward to seeing similar ports and new game announcements for Switch continue. Now, if you mean if I was surprised regarding a particular game or announcement, I had a feeling that Sonic Mania and Cuphead would be surprisingly good earlier this year, but I'm honestly shocked at how messy the situation regarding Star Wars Battlefront 2 turned out. It's not often that I take a game off of my pre-order list, but this was one of those times. Not a terrible campaign for a quick rental, though, I'll say that much. And that's all for this debut episode of Games in Time, brought to you by RhymesWithAsia.com. We're still in the pilot stages, so we expect to be on podcast services sometime next week. If you could like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, that would be greatly appreciated. You can find the show on Twitter at GamesInTimePod. I'm at Pete Speakeasy. I'll leave you with 11 a.m. from this week's tempo-controlled game, Animal Crossing New Leaf. So with that, I'm Peter Spasia. I'll see you next time.